So here is another video um, about uh, drum roll prioritization. So I'm gonna give you the advice that I give myself. The first thing is try to do less. If you're watching this video, you're either a friend of mine who's cringing super hard or a random person who is interested in productivity and or whatever the fuck it is. But that means you're probably trying to do too many things in your life. You probably are incredibly ambitious and like have, you know, a bunch of goals in your life and it's, it's so hard to juggle them all. But this is the secret. You need to do less. So the way that I handle this is never have like three or, you know, three things, three or more things, more than three things that are priorities. Um, the famous quote goes, if you have more than three priorities, you have no priorities, which is like fine and three is an arbitrary number so like whatever. But the truth is that you should try to do less. Don't spread yourself too thin because focusing on one thing at a time is how you actually get shit done. So in general, humans are absolutely terrible multitaskers. I think there's about 4% of the population that are true multitaskers and 96% uh, of them are not. What does it mean to be a true multitasker? It means when you do more than one thing at a time, you're actually more efficient than if you did one at a time. But the converse is also true. That means everyone who's trying to do more than one thing at a time does worse. They should have just done one thing and then the next thing. But instead they decided, you know, I'm gonna multitask or whatever. But like, it is a bad idea because you owe your so, um, I'm going to be honest, you're probably not a, you know, true multitasker. So don't try doing that. Don't try to do multiple things at once. Do one thing at a time. And now that's like a micro level, right? But let's talk about the macro level. So what I do, and I got this from, you know, a bunch of people who I, I really admire, um, is that I do seasons. So a lot of people do uh, New Year's resolutions, but to be honest, New Year's resolutions are dumb. They just make you feel terrible because people are like, oh, New Year, I'm going to do some cool stuff. But like, it's an entire year. Working on something that is hard and perhaps ambitious for an entire year is very, very difficult. And the base rate of this, the stats are that most people fail their New Year's resolutions in like two months or like two weeks, to be honest. But almost nobody makes it to the end of their, you know, end of the year and have, you know, upheld their resolutions. I think it's like 7% or something like that. So to make this more manageable and to like be a little bit nicer to ourselves, I set up resolutions, basically goals that I want to do per season. This season's going to be maybe two to four months. And this makes a lot of sense because the weather and like the seasons are very much tied to our energy levels and the things that we can physically do. If I want to like run and it's, you know, I want to do the whole year, that means I'm going to have to run through like winter and fall and summer and whatever. But if I'm like this fall, I'm gonna run, that's a lot more manageable because you can figure out a way to do it consistently outside every time. Or if you're like this winter, I'm gonna run, that's fine. You need to figure out a way to run inside or treadmill or whatever. But three to four months or two to four months really is a much more manageable amount of time to have a goal. And I like this because you get to interleave different goals better. A really good way of learning is to interleave things. If you're trying to learn, you know, two tasks or we'll skip this, we'll talk about this later, interleaving, free recall, et cetera, et cetera. So seasonal themes. So the idea here is that you want to do one thing per season, one like fun thing per season. The way I break it up is I actually do, I do two things, one physical goal and one mental goal. And the physical goal I think is important to be able to have some way of directing my energy and making sure that I keep up with some type of exercise that is good for me, you know, mentally, physically, et cetera. And one thing that is mentally challenging, something that I have always wanted to do, and it could be learning a language or drawing or playing an instrument or making YouTube videos. That's this season's theme. And the physical themes can be, you know, swimming, running, um, I don't know what did I do last time, um, like rock climbing, fencing, whatever, tennis, you know, these are, again, things that I've liked and, and made my themes. But I like to just do these two things as themes. And those are my two priorities for that time. And then like the third priority is really just like life and living and whatever, I'm trying to like make that work, right? So um, again, even now I realize that I'm doing too much. So the main thing is you should do less because that is how you get shit done. This is a, another terrible video. My goodness, at, at the end of every one of these videos, I'm like, wow, this is so bad. So now I'm just like riffing and talking to you. So I know I'm talking a lot like really quickly and moving my hands a lot. And that's actually by design because I decided that that would be a more compelling YouTube video because it's a lot harder to try to think of like quit and leave because when like someone is talking just because like it's still in your mind you're trying to do this thing so anyways i just wanted to see if that worked and if someone actually watched this last like 15 20 seconds and stayed here just because i was talking really quickly and you know moving my hands around and all that shit anyways thank you so much and goodbye